Hey, Dr. Scott Stevens here with a little video today. This one on bar charts. In our last video about pie charts, we talked about the fact that both of these kinds of graphs are good for categorical data or also for numerical data where the numerical values don't cover too many different values. But we said that there were some advantages and disadvantages to each kind of chart, a pie chart, pie chart or a bar chart. A pie chart tends not to be good when there are too many categories, for example. So I've got some data here. These are the uh, countries that won Olympic medals in 2016. And I'd like to give you an idea of how different countries did compared to one another. I could figure out the total number of uh, medals won by each country by adding a column for the total number. And of course, just obtaining that by adding up or summing the three entries in that row for gold, silver, and bronze. If I do that and copy it all the way down the column, I find how many medals each country has won. Putting this into a pie chart would make pretty much of a mess, as I'll show you now. Let's just go ahead and grab those values. We'll say insert and choose a pie chart and choose the basic kind. As you can see, even if we put the names, the appropriate names, there are far too many regions for us to make good sense out of this graph. It's not a good choice. On the other hand, we could try doing something like a bar chart. Bar charts also appear here, like this, and they come in various varieties as well. But some of these are very unsuited. For example, here's a bar, bar chart that we could use, and you'll notice some things right away that don't seem very useful. The horizontal axis doesn't have any names to it. Instead, it just has um, num numbers. Nonetheless, let's play with this and see how we could make it better. I could change this by choosing the graph, and then adjusting the horizontal axis by going to the graph, left-clicking, right-clicking, and saying, select data. Notice it's asking me here what I want the horizontal axis to be. I'm going to change it from the default of all the numbers to the actual names of the countries, like this. Okay. That looks much better, although, as you need, notice not all the names are there. Let's see if we can make the names appear a little better, too. I'll right-click on the names, left-click, and say Format Axis. Over here, I'll have a bunch of different choices, but the one I want right now is Labels, Specify Interval Unit. I'm changing it to 1. That is, I want every single entry listed. So I get a graph that looks more like this. The graph really isn't bad, but there are some things I could do to make it better. Obviously, it deserves a chart title. Um, total Medals 1, 2016 Olympics, for example. That looks pretty good. And the chart here makes it pretty clear what that's talking about, so I probably don't need a label here. Um, it might be more nice to have these listed from smallest to largest, or from largest to smallest. We can do that by grabbing all the data in this table here, all the countries, and then I'll go to the uh, data menu and ask it to sort the information from, my data does not have column tail headings here, by column uh, E by values from, let's say, largest, smallest to largest. Okay. Now the graph is rearranged for to, to list things from the countries that have the least to the countries that have the most. And we can see here the United States and China and Great Britain are the most successful countries in terms of the number of medals they get. Pretty easy, huh? You can be a bit more fancy than this, though. For example, the difference between countries is not simply how many medals they have, but how many of each kind of medal they have. Golds are worth more than silvers, and silvers are worth more than bronzes. Is there a way that we could reflect this information? Well, sure. I'm going to leave the countries in the same order we've got them right now, but instead of choosing just the total column, I'm going to choose the country and gold and silver and bronze, and then take the list of all the countries together, like this. Once again, I'll go back to the Insert tab and say Insert Bar Chart. Okay. Notice that this can be done as columns or as rows. Okay. And um, you can rearrange it either way that you want. But some are better than others. If you look at what this graph is going to look like, it looks like quite a mess with bars sitting next to each other. I could do a little better here by examining the other possibilities. For example, in this 3D chart option, I can decide to stack the various options. So now you can see gold and silver and bronze are all stacked on top of each other. That's the one I'm going to pick for today's example. And as you can see, not all the names are appearing. So once again, I'll click on the list of the names, right click, format axis, and over here, once again, say specify the interval unit as one. As you can see, it doesn't fit very well there. We can do something about that, like making the graph taller or making the writing smaller. I could go back here and say, let's make my font smaller. Obviously, I want it to be readable. At the same time, I want it to be um, the graph down to be too big or too small. Something like that looks like a pretty good choice. Chart title would be basically the same as it was before, but maybe I'll call it gold, silver, 
and bronze medals 2016 Olympics something like that okay now you'll see that right now I've got a key here that says gold and silver and bronze it took it off of the names that I had up here automatically maybe for better um, intuitive reading it'd be better to show the gold in gold the silver and silver and the bronzes in bronze let's do that I'll click on a piece of this bar here and right click and say format data series I'm going to change this by changing the fill making this fill a golden color like that how about the silver I'll go to the second part here select only the red parts right click format data series once again I'll choose a color and this time I'll choose kind of a gray color to represent silver that leaves the bronze so once again I'll go to the third part click so I have only the third part selected right click format data series and do one more fill this time with a fill of a bronze color if you don't see the color that you want you can go to more colors and search around till you see something that pleases you for example something like that looks pretty bronzy to me okay so there are my bronzes this down at the bottom is counting the number of metals here of each type and so that might be good to label I can make sure my graph is selected that I clicked design up top and I can add chart elements over here to say let's give the axis a title the primary horizontal axis should be called metals okay and you may at this point feel that you don't really need the gold silver or bronze um, notation down at the bottom although I think it's still a nice thing to include this graph to me looks like it's containing the information that I want and looks pretty good I could try it with different colors to see if I liked it better although notice that the colors that I've already chosen here uh, go away when I do this I should have done this before we got started let me go back to what, what we had because that was my preferred look for this graph there we go and if I wanted to have a different background I could do that too for example I could say um, to fill the background here um, with let's say a black color maybe I think that looks a little nicer okay so that's the idea of how you would do a, a bar graph you can also do different kinds of bar graphs if you want to compare two quantities for example let's say golds to silvers and have them stacked side by side we could do that change the chart type and instead of the kind where we stack them that way we could stand them side by side in this particular case I don't think that would look very good but you could do it okay so it's always a good idea to play around and decide what you'd like your result to look at look like in particular you want to think what you want to convey my most important information here was how did countries do in terms of their gold medals that's the gold here and how do they do in terms of total medals and that's the length of the three bars together so we see here that in this particular Olympics the United States kicked quite a bit of butt that's it for bar graphs have a good day